You're watching RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the 2014 Farm Progress Show in Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I'm joined today by Ralph Walker, Application Specialist with the Hypro Spray Group. Now, uh, you're going to walk us through a new invention, something that's won an award here at Canada's Farm Progress Show. So tell us about uh, what we're looking at, Ralph. Okay. We're actually looking at a new dual react system uh, that Hypro is introducing this year in Europe and uh, we'll be experimenting with it yet in Canada in 2014 for full launch in 2015. It's a system that incorporates uh, air, pneumatic, and electric in a boom section control system operating remotely from the tractor cab, from a controller in the tractor cab. The system has a master pneumatic and electric system that centers uh, a boom section with three slave control units, on-off control units for nozzle bodies at each side of the master. So the master has a feed line of air and a feed line of electric and it feeds uh, uh, air to three slaves on each side to turn them on or off and, freak and, and sequence which nozzle should be on through the controller, response to the controller. Right, so it's, it's not just sectional control, but you actually have a bit more leeway in how big those sections are. Yes. So you can actually turn off the one and then the slave. You can, end up with, well, you can end up with seven sections of nozzles operating. Right, so now, and this is, these are dual nozzles, so there's two on each nozzle body. That's and correct. so how might a farmer use one or the other, or what are okay. all the options you have when you put those two together? One of, one of the things that comes to mind right away is uh, he would like to uh, uh, first trim the field where he would have a boundary area that he has uh, has to control the spray could be a neighbor's property it could be his own canola which would be sensitive to what he's spraying next to that field in that case he would use a course only spray setting triggered from the cap automatically kicks that on and sprays then he combines that with a second nozzle for the all of the inner part of the field. That's one of several options. If conditions changed, maybe, right? So yes. if you started out with a finer spray and the weather turns right. a little or the wind picks up, you could automatically from the cab switch to the course yes. nozzle just like that. So you have three options as the as the unit will demonstrate. First these could be on alone, then the two on together and then the back went on by itself. So there are three options each time you have a setup and you can alter the setup and then dial to the, to the next option. For instance, you could have a fertilizer nozzle to do a fertilizer application and, and a herbicide application that would follow that after or during. Okay, so lots of uh, lots of options. So, as you mentioned, when could Canadian farmers uh, look to see these in the field? 2015. All right. We'll demo yet this year. Uh, we may have a demo somewhere in the Western Canadian market, and perhaps have Tom Wolf um, work on that demo with us uh, in a trial. But uh, we'll certainly be showing uh, an application, and it's it's available to the broad. Uh, market. It's not restricted. The other nice feature about it is that it can utilize the latest technology in air center droplet uh, nozzle. It, it has no restriction in uh, their full operation so you farmer has full uh, full options on drift management with uh, natural very popular tips in the marketplace across the industry air center droplet technology perfect thank you so much Ralph. thank you